And September 11th is one of those iconic dates in history where everybody knows exactly what they were doing when they first heard the news. So we thought we'd ask our nation's leaders what they were doing when they first heard about the attacks on the morning about 10 years ago. I was driving uh, down Lakeshore Drive in Chicago. I was a state senator at the time, as well as a teaching law and, and uh, practicing law. I was going to a, a Senate hearing. 9-11-01 uh, was uh, primary day in New York City. I had voted, and then I walked to my campaign headquarters, sat down, coffee, reading the newspaper. Somebody said, oh, a small plane had just hit one of the Twin Towers. My reaction was, man, it, it, either the weather was bad or something extraordinary happened to the pilot. I was about six miles away at the Peninsula Hotel having breakfast and I was not informed of how bad it was. I was told that a twin engine plane had hit the North Tower and it was a terrible fire. I was in my Capitol office and I happened to see it on television and we evacuated the Russell Senate office building and I, like all Americans, were first shocked and surprised and then been very angry. This feeling, I, I, almost like my heart had sunk into my stomach and then they said there's a plane on its way to Washington. When the third plane hit the Pentagon, the magnitude of the attacks I grew dramatically. I came to the conclusion that we were at war. Half my mind had to be pointed to how do we save the people at the World Trade Center? How do we deal with the fire? How do we deal with getting the people out? But the other half had to be with the police department. How do we make sure there are no further bombings? I went to my law office and together with the uh, my fellow uh, attorneys, we, we watched uh, you know, the, that horrific scene of, of the buildings coming down. I knew I had uh, three people in the building and had no idea where in the building they were. In the end, they, had n they never got out. I got there probably around 4.30 in the afternoon and I thought it was a movie set. I would see firemen walking to catch their breath and to pour some water. The look in their eyes is just unbearable. I expected further bombings in the city, maybe by plane, maybe, maybe suicide bombings. So there was so much to think about that you had to put your emotions under control and say, I'm gonna think about that later. I'll always remember the, the smoke billowing out of the Pentagon, the fact that military jets were scrambled and flying over DC. So it was a you know, sense of our lives were forever changed. I remember going home and Sasha had just been born, um, and I usually had night duty, uh, so Michelle could get some sleep. And uh, I remember staying up into the late into the middle of the night, uh, you know, burping my child and changing her diapers, and wondering, you know, what kind of world uh, is she going to be uh, inheriting? 